Hello everybody, welcome back to Tim Man Collections. And today, like you see on the table, I have another Santa Claus haul to show you guys off. So, I'm going to be talking to about them one at a time, so I'm going to take some of them off the table, and then we're going to do them one by one. So, uh, here we go. Alright. Alrighty folks. I'm going to start off with the first two that I picked up over at the Living Free Superstore. Now, um, when we, me and my mom walked in there, they had a section uh, put out when they had like a Christmas in July sale. And the first thing that caught my eye was this uh, Santa figurine right here. I just love the uh, old world whimsical look and ness to it. And uh, the detail on the toy bag is pretty neat. And I told Mom, I said, I don't have a Santa figurine like this one. So I went ahead and grabbed it. I mean, look, at it. it almost looks like some of her uh, home interior pieces, the Santas. But this one's made by um, Young's Incorporated. Never heard of that company. But then I looked around the table, and this was, it's a box, but I mean, I just love the artwork of this uh, rustic Santa. <laughs> Sorry about that, but anyway, you can see on the inside of the box, it's got the same artwork as the lid. And if you flip it around, boom. <laughs> and I know sometimes people like to do the DIY thing and cut this out, either of the box or the lid, and probably put it in a frame as like an art print, if you will. But uh, I thought these two pieces were nice and interesting I've never seen them before so I went ahead and picked them up and plus I love I love the plaid in this box. I'm a sucker for plaid. I go mad with plaid but if I see flannel I get this mad. <laughs> it might as well be on the mantle but anyway. <laughs> uh, cover the lens. Alright next are my uh, Goodwill finds. And if you guys are wondering, I picked all these up the same day uh, last weekend. It was on Saturday. Uh, so after we left uh, the Living Free Superstore, me and my mom went to Goodwill. So, and this is the first Santa I picked up. I said, man, he's a nice looking one. And then I found out he's got the grapes and the wine bottles. So I said, yeah, he's a wine festive Santa. And I don't know how much these things will be cost brand new. But I paid eight ninety nine for this thing, so I said that ain't bad for a detailed Santa like this. Now, uh, as you can see, it's got like a little menu list down here at the bottom for like a wine selection or whatever. I love the detail of this uh, coat. Right here, it's a nice wine burgundy color. That's the thing. I, I like uh, Santas that either have uh, more of a scarlet color, like something like this color hat right here, or maybe something a tad bit darker like this. But I said I love the fur on it, and I said I've never seen. Well, I've probably seen some wine Santas, but nothing like this. And uh, what else can I say about it? Oh. I said we could probably, and I noticed the berries right here, the paint was starting to come off of them. I said we probably could repaint those and just pick them off, it don't matter. But then, anyway, looked on the shelf further down and I saw this guy. Might as well call this Combat Santa or something because I love the idea. He's got a walkie talkie in his hand and he's got a satchel with an airplane like he's delivering toys in the military. So. If you're a true Santa believer, join Santa's armies now. <laughs> but anyway, I don't know why they didn't go with a camouflage Santa hat to go with this. I said that would rather been nice than a red hat, but it looks nice. And then the hat is bendable, so you can pose it like that or pose it over to the side like this. Back. <laughs> anyway. Alright. That was my Goodwill finds. Now I'm going to show you my Salvation Army finds. Now, 
what I'm about to show you is a little bit different than what I usually grab. So hold on. All right. You see what I mean? <laughs> I saw this over at Salvation Army. It's it was in a bin, but this is one of them old uh, Santa dolls that's both front sided and back sided print. And uh, Bomb and me have been seeing these on uh, YouTube where the people that do like thrifting ventures and everything, they always come across these in the vintage Christmas sales. And they're going like crazy on uh, eBay or whatever. They're expensive. But found this one. I said it was in pretty good shape and look, he's waving. Hello, everybody. This is my first, uh, you might as well say, Santa doll. I, do, I usually don't buy these to collect, but he was in pretty good shape. I thought I'd grab it. But then, oh, it's a pillow. My bad. I would consider it either a doll pillow or something. But I don't know. Anyway, that's that. But anyway, found this, uh, I don't know what you call it, like a tray or whatever. But, uh, I said it had multiple Santas and it was in the bin with all the other Christmas stuff and I said I actually kind of like that but if you can see right there that Santa with the straw hat we actually had a uh, Santa Claus figurine like that one I think you might have seen it in one of my Santa hauls but unfortunately I think I got rid of it I said dang it <laughs> would have had a Santa to go with this but anyway I just love the artwork on it you might think it's uh, I don't know childish or whatever like Children's artist did it, but it looked nice. And it's made by Poo, uh, P O T Puri, like Pop Puri designers. Copyrighted 1994. Hmm. So this is an old piece you don't see it every day. But yeah, I just I, I love to find art with like multiple signs stacked on one each <laughs> other. But anyway, I thought that was pretty neat. All right, I'm gonna bring them all back and then uh, do a little closing statement so hold on tightly well I hope you guys enjoyed my little haul here but uh, don't forget to like and subscribe turn on those post notifications for more content like this and uh, this has been another successful installment of the Tim Man Collections channel I'm Jeffrey Tim Man Taylor Sayonara and only five more months to go till Christmas Sign up.